something out. It's an early start. I've been to St Andrews once before, not to play, and I'm heading back there today. Do you want to come with me? Come on, come with me. Right, arrived in Edinburgh, Edinburgh Airport. It's a little bit cloudy, but we might get lucky today. Can't wait to get to the old course, see it. Do we see if we can show you around it a little bit? Get an idea of what it's all about over these two days. A lot of blind shots, I think. In the comment section down below. In fact, I'll put a card up. One of these, I never know which side the point. I'll learn it. Playing the old course, would that be on your bucket list? Let me know in that card up there. Definitely would be on mine. I wish I was playing it. Right, I've just arrived and I'm parked in the car park here, which is basically right next. Maybe the prettiest car park setting ever. Right, stood on the third tee and you don't see much. You don't see much at all. What you do is you stand on the tee, you can see a flag in the back left. I guess it's out of bounds on the right and then you see a bit of gorse and that is a common feature at this course. So double greens, this is the third and the 16th green. You can see it shares the same surface. You'd have to be pretty crazy offline to hit the other surface, but when it's pretty windy, I reckon there's a good chance you could cross, but it's a unique feature here. You see it at a few courses, but uh, yeah, shared green. There is actually a bit of history to that, I think. History lesson on the double greens. So players originally would play the same hole for all holes. So they would go out and back playing to the same hole, sharing the fairway with different tees. But then as golf became more popular, what they decided to do is make the single holes two holes and then have a safer distance between the fairways so they weren't sharing holes and weren't sharing fairways. Another little interesting fact, if you add up the numerical number of each hole that shares a double green, it always adds up to 18. The largest of the double greens, the fifth and the 13th sharing holes, nearly 38,000 square feet. <laughs> it's just massive. 17th tee, that's what we're staring at. You're basically going over the corner of the hotel. And this is the tee, to be honest with you, most of my memories of this hole come from, but there's a new one. It's back there. So it's a par four, 495 yards, and it's the same drive over the corner of the hotel. Like, this is not easy, is it? Let's walk up this hole, shall we? This hole obviously is just so famous and infamous. When you get past the hotel, there's a bit of room on the fairway, but you do have to hit it further right than you believe staring at the hotel. Narrow entrance to the green. If the pin was anywhere over that road hole bunker, you'd definitely be going for the center of the green. So that is the road hole bunker. And that is, if we get down, pretty lippy as bunkers go. Definitely wouldn't want to be going in there. I think lots of players are more than player enough to get out, but you wouldn't want to be anywhere near the face or certainly in the back of this one, because you ain't stopping it before you get the road the other side. That's a friendly pin today. So it can burn. That's the bridge. That's the bridge everyone wants their picture on. Going up 18. Obviously Clubhouse, and I think that's University Digs, isn't it? But you can correct me down in that comments. Is that University Accommodation? I'm pretty sure it is. Go on, tell me in that comment section down there. Who's, if anyone who's been here, have you had your picture taken on this bridge? I'm sure you have. Again, hit that comment section up. Let me know if you walked over it without your picture taken. It's almost impossible to walk over it and not have your picture taken. okay at the minute morning y'all really tired last night that was a long first day but a lot of fun um i'm gonna go and get a coffee let's show you the town like the town here at st andrews it's got to be one of the prettiest towns i've ever been in and it's amazing how close the golf course and connected it is to the town it's like you just walk through the town and the bank there is one of the most famous golf courses and golf clubhouses like in the world just like smacks you straight away. The only problem we got today, because we are going to try and get a bit more on the course today. I hope you go around with Burnt, uh, watch his practice around a little bit, take you with us. It's a little rainy. 
walking through the town in the morning it's such a stunning place you've got the granite buildings just look fantastic the architecture's stunning the cobbled streets and then you've got golf just everywhere so many golf shops riddled through the town it's an amazing place right i just want to show you guys how connected this place is to the town it's crazy Yeah, left tower, just drifting, lovely. For me, St Andrews was an amazing experience. The whole setting of the place, just how naturally beautiful it is. And the thing that's really stand out, interesting, that I never really noticed with St Andrews before going there, is it's surrounded by many other courses. And the old course is obviously the most famous, um, and the one with the landmarks that you recognise from the clubhouse 17th hole, the double greens, the hotel, the street up the right of 18. But the other courses there, people tell me I've not played either, are meant to be fantastic. I've got to get up there and play them. And the course is kind of wedged between them. The other noticeable thing with the courses is relatively flat, apart from obviously the crazy undulations around the greens, but there's no like real high vantage points. So that's why you're getting loads of those blind tee shots. And I think the more you play it, the more you would fall in love with the course. But obviously the standout part for everyone, it's the clubhouse, 18th green, first tee. And the accessibility to the town and the general public is like nothing else. I mean, I've gone to Augusta a few times. You could drive past if the tournament wasn't there. You wouldn't know it's there. It's concealed. It's in behind. Where St Andrews, you walk to the beach, you're going to walk past one of the most famous golf courses and settings in the world. And that whole first fairway, 17th green, first green, 18th fairway, 18th green area, that almost kind of rectangle of golf mechanus it's special it's stunning it's tradition it's golf from i think 1500s it's it's a must do trip to play if you're lucky enough and if you can't get to play just to go and take your pictures like, i couldn't stop taking pictures it, it was just such a special amazing place and being there when the dunhill links was on was fun talking to the players even there they, they all were asking me look have you played it and when i said no they couldn't believe it because they know kind of what i do to them each one of them it was like it's the old course you've got to play it it's it so special for them to go back and play this tournament at a course that's obviously just from Australians to Americans to the UK to the Scottish pros that I was talking to to the European ones all said the same thing they would say it's the old course kind of like that and that's that's what it feels like it just is the old course thanks for watching post comments down below let me know what you think of the old course let me know if you've played it or not if you've got one of those pictures if you stood on that bridge on 18 post them on my twitter at Full Golf Online. Let's see it. Everyone I've asked if they've been there, the first thing they do is they bring out that picture and they show me it. I've got pictures of me on it, but I was walking across it. I want to be walking across it, playing it next time. Speak to you all soon. If you want to see the walk with Bernd Wiesberger, um, I'm going to put a link to it, but you won't be able to connect to it if you're watching this on the night of this video being released, because it'll be the next day. But if you're watching this on playback, which most of you will be, it'll be a link in one of those cards up there. If I've remembered to put it in. Hopefully I will. Thanks for watching. See you all soon.